Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. We're nearing the end of the year and it's time soon for the gear of the year, my yearly countdown and ranking of the best releases, both strings and rackets. One of the rackets that keep coming up again and again in comments fields is the Headspeed Pro. A lot of players seem to have made a switch to this frame, maybe in inspired by Chris Edwards that he actually did do the switch to this racket, the famous playtester from Tennis Warehouse. Who knows, but I also found it to be an excellent update, more stable, bit better impact feel than the previous generation. It's a subtle update, but it did make a difference to how the racket played. My head speed pro was a bit heavy in terms of swing weight. That was really the only downside for me. Felt a bit sluggish on certain shots. This is a frame with 310 grams on strong. Some players might have gotten them lower than 330. I think that's better than you can always customize or play it as is, but mine was higher than 330. And that's why I always urge the racket manufacturers and the industry to look at swing weight in terms of quality control. Have better quality assurance for swing weight because that's the one of the most important factors of a tennis racket. I get a little bit annoyed when I get rackets that are not close to spec and especially if they're up in the like towards 340 strong swing weight which becomes quite difficult to maneuver for most uh, intermediate rec club level even advanced club level players but overall this frame seems to have garnered a lot of a good attention look at tennis warehouse they have probably the highest uh, rating for this year at least of any frame many many good reviews so it's possibly the racket of the year but i will revisit it because I did do a review, called it first impressions, know exactly what I think about the frame, but I didn't update the title or do a full version review. There is a review on tennisner.net and I will make an update. I will try the frame again, restring it and uh, give you an updated opinion about this frame, but it definitely seems to be one of the top rackets of the year since so many have made the switch and seem very content and happy with it. Like I said, this is not for the faint of heart. It's 1820 string pattern, gives you pretty good control despite the 100 square inch uh, racket head. The beam on these speeds, which is I think is the, the main thing here, is that it's not too stiff, it's not too thick. So if you have really thick beams, you usually have quite stiff rackets. And with pure drives and instincts and Wilson Ultras, you have a really thick 26 millimeter beam but here you have a 23 millimeter beam throughout making speed a more natural name for it because it's about getting that racket head speed having a, a little bit more control on the ball but also being able to whip up more uh, speed on your shot so i think it makes a lot of sense this is head's best selling line in many ways thanks to novak djokovic of course yannick sinner players that endorse it but also because it's a frame that suits many players it's kind of in the middle of power frames and control frames you have that good versatility in these frames the mp gives you a bit free power more spin while the pro is a bit more controlled a little bit heavier so uh, a very very interesting racket the head speed pro 2022 where the oxetic technology seemed to give it a bit better impact feel a little bit better stability oxetic overall has been good to many headlines the extreme and the speed i was not a huge fan of the oxetic prestigious but I hope to enjoy the Oxetic Gravity and the Oxetic Radical when they come next year. So that's something to look forward to is if those frames are more your cup of tea. If you've tried the Speed Pro and you have some comments, please let me know in the comments below. I, I'm going to have a closer look at some of the frames that were the most exciting releases that got the most attention in the upcoming weeks before we close the year in Tennis Nerd Land. So um, let me know what you think of the Speed. I really liked it. Big thanks to our sponsor Fuzzy Yellow Balls for their singles playbook. It's a great tool to learn more about patterns of play, how to beat pushers, how to beat moon bowlers, serve and volleyers, ingrain some patterns in your tennis that you can win you more matches without thinking so much or without making stressed mistakes. I bought it over a year ago, really used it. The videos and the book, it's a great compliment easy learning and then you use that on the court so i can really recommend this product the link is in the description let me know what other rackets you would like me to review or revisit in the coming weeks as we count down to the gear of the year 2022 that is all for today have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.